Hello, my name is Kishwani. S K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GMAT. We have been solving GMAT math problems out of this book here, the GMAT review, the 13th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find at the very bottom of page 152, the very last problem on page 152, and today is our lesson number 5. Let's take a look at it. Problem number 6 is what we're going to do. Turn to page number 152 and read the problem to yourself. Here's the gist of it. We are told that the water level has gone up from 124 to 138. We are also told that this 138 represents 82% of the capacity of the reservoir. The question simply is, what was the approximate initial shortfall? In other words, before the, before the rainstorm, what was the, how short was the reservoir uh, compared to what its capacity is? So the very first thing we have to figure out here is what exactly is the capacity of the reservoir. We know that 138, when, when they say represents, represents the same as saying is, 138 is 82% of the capacity. What does is mean? Is means equal. Is means equal. There are four words, there are four words that we have to learn to translate in order for us to come up with the right equation for a percentage problem. If you need more practice with the percentage problem, here are 10 videos, I'll put them on the blackboard here, just type in revise GRE math. I know you're not here for GRE. I realize that you are here for GMAT, but the math is math. Just type in revise GRE math. Day 84 through 93, there are 10 days that I spent doing lots of percentage problems. If you go through those percentage problems, that will give you ample practice. It will teach you how to set up the right equation for a percentage problem, which is the biggest hurdle a lot of people have. So is means equal. 138 is or represents, 138 represents 82, 82 percent means, percent means over 100. The word percent, what does it literally mean? Percent literally means exactly what it says. It says per 100, per 100 or out of 100. Out of 100, 15 percent means 15 percent means 15 out of 100. 27 percent means 27 out of 100. 34 percent, 34.7 percent means 34.7 out of 100. Percent means over 100. So 82 percent means over 100. What does off mean? Off means times or multiply. Multiply. For example, for example, if somebody were to ask us what is half of ten, well, half of of you see, of means times. Ten. Half of ten is five, obviously. Of of means times. So we got percentage, we got off, and then the capacity. Let's call it x. We have to solve for the x here. Let's multiply both sides of the equation by 100 over 82. 100 over 82. In other words, the reciprocal of this guy, so that we can we can cross out this 100 with that 100. This 82 goes out with that 82, and x equals 100 over 82 times 138. Now this is where this is where the prickly bit is going to come in. This is where the fact is going to come. This is where the fact that they are asking for the approximate value, not the exact value, this is where this fact is going to come into play. We're not going to spend our time trying to figure out the exact nitty-gritty details. They're looking for an approximate answer. So I'm going to pretend, I'm going to pretend that this 82 actually is 80. I'm just going to pretend it's 80. 80 divided by 100 is 5 over 4. Now let's divide, let's divide this guy by 4. How many 4s how many in 1? 1 has 0 4s. How many 4s in 13? 13 has 3 fours. 3 fours are 12. The remaining one goes and joins this guy, becomes 18. How many fours in 18? 18 does not go even into 4. It's going to be 4 and a half. I'm just going to pretend it's 5. Now, two things happen here. First of all, when we pretended that, listen very carefully, when we pretended that this 82 was 80, 
it's okay to approximate. It's okay to approximate in the exam. Not only, it's, not only that it is okay, actually, it is necessary that you approximate in almost all the questions. But what you have to keep in mind, what you have to be smart about is being cognizant, being aware of the fact that you are underestimating or overestimating. You have to know that all the time. So here, when we pretended that 82 was in fact 80, were we underestimating or overestimating? Well, it was 82. It was a higher number. We made it into a lower number, which is why we are overestimating, because we are now dividing it by a lower number. So by virtue of doing, doing this, by virtue of doing this, we were overestimating. And when we pretended that this 138 was 140 actually, 140 divided by 4, 140 divided by 4 will give us 35. When we pretended that this was 140, again we were overestimating. So the correct answer, whatever it is, is going to be slightly less than what we're looking for. Slightly less than what we're going to get. What is 35 times 35 times 5? Let's find out. 35 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. And then 5 times 3, carry 2. 5 times 5 is 25, carry 2. 2 plus 3 5 is 15. 15 plus 5 is 17. So that is the capacity. That is the capacity of the reservoir. That is the capacity of the reservoir. What was the initial? Oh, initially it was 124. So let's finish it up here somewhere. Where should I do it? I need the room. Let's finish it up here. So the capacity, the capacity is, capacity is 175, initial, initial level was 125. It wasn't 125, it was 124. Again, I'm approximating. Okay, just, it's okay, just mellow out. So 175 capacity minus the 125, which means the initial shortfall, initial shortfall, it's going to be about 50. Keep in mind, it's going to be about 50. We're going to go to look at the answer choices, and if it happens that one number is slightly more than 50, and one number is slightly less than 50, then we have to be smart enough to know which one to pick. We are overestimating, which means the correct answer, whatever it is, has got to be slightly less than 50. We're looking for an answer that is slightly less than a 50. If something happens to be in the, when we look at the answer choices, which I have not looked at yet, if we come across an answer choice which is slightly more than 50, we're not going to pick that one. We're looking for something a little less than 50. Let's look at the answer choices. Ah, the only answer choice that is a little less than 50 is 44. That's your answer. The answer is E, which is 44. That's it. That's it. We're done. Now, like I said, if you want to practice more on the percentage problem, and if you want to learn how to set up the equation properly, I said there are four words, and I did not put the fourth one, which is this unknown of the capacity, the unknown, which is usually, which is usually the represented with the word what, what is the what is what is what we're looking for, the unknown, which is usually repre represented with the x. So these are the four words that we have to master. Very simple, very easy. Just read the question and translate it word by word. Translate it word by word. What? Oh, there it is. There it is. What was? No, so rather, we'll, we'll be doing this part here. 138. 138 represents, which is is, 82 percent of means times capacity, which is your what? 82 percent of what? That's your x. Well, that's it. I will see you tomorrow, and we'll just continue checking along, okay? Bye now.